Shalom, real quick, giving all praise to you. Shalom, 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 I'm going to entitle this video, Is War a Racket? Any, anyway, um, this is going to be a super quick one. Um, I put in, uh, is war a racket or war is a racket or whatever, however I put it in there. So this is what came up. I clicked on news. It says, this was put up 18 days ago, Congress buys up war stocks ahead of Hamas attack on Israel. Wait a minute, this was 18 days ago? as tensions escalate between Israel and Hamas. So it was a buildup. So this is, we're talking almost three weeks ago, almost a month ago. Congress buys up war stocks ahead of Hamas attack on Israel. Hmm. Things that, things that make you say, hmm. Uh, Kramer buys stocks now to catch the, the rally when the Fed, when the Fed, and it's tightening cycle, Forbes. Um, I believe this is one hour ago. How the war in Israel and Gaza is shaking financial markets and affecting your wallet. Israel's October 8th declaration of war uh, following its bombardment by the militant Gaza-based group. Hamas is already jolting. You can read the rest of that. So I'm asking a question six days ago. Uh, Western ammo stocks at bottom of the, of the barrel as Ukraine war drags on, NATO officials warn. A Western, militaries, Western militaries are running out of ammunition to give to Ukraine. NATO and British officials warn Tuesday as they read the rest of that. Tim Squat, Tim Squat, Tim Scott, you know that guy, he's a bald-headed black Jake from, I believe, Georgia as a president, presidential candidate. Tim Scott never disclosed buying stocks he recently said he owned. This is one month ago. Oh, Republican Senate senators stock trade linked to Ukraine war raises eyebrows. Just asking a question. Is war racket? Uh, one year ago, four months ago. See, these senators, Congress people, they have inside information on things that go on, on around the whole world. One day ago, let's read this one. Market Watch, Fair Trade, What Israel Hamas War Means for Oil Prices. It has going to affect the oil prices one way or another and financial markets. And I don't think prices are going to go down. Uh, one day ago, New York Times, the New York Times, tally the cost of tallying the cost of the Is Israel Gaza war. The price of crude oil has risen and global markets are under pressure as the death toll exceeds 1,100. Israel begins a two days ago. Israel at war with Hamas after unprecedented attack see there's a thing look up the word put option you you can you can you know bet let me use the word bet on something that's going to fail, you can you can become profitable by a stock going down. It's called put options. Uh, exp 
explainer, this was five days ago, explainer what's at stake in the U.S. Congress debate over Ukraine aid. And this, so far, they received approximately $250 billion with a B dollars. So we're talking, uh, this is this, this is year two of the war, talking about February. Was it year two or year? Was it last year or two years ago? Ukraine, seven days ago, Ukraine reacts to U.S. Congress funding snub, big win for a Slavic foe. So money, money can be made with wars if you know what you're doing. One of the Rothschilds made a statement, you want to buy when blood is flowing in the street or in the streets. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. On to the next one, shalom.